Children of East Uganda, we will fight for peace, ensuring change in the world and raising children's voice. We should move freely, we should sleep freely. There should be no running like those days that we suffered. We should move freely, we should sleep freely. Should be no running like those things that we suffer. You know, peace we walk in, we do fight for peace. Ensuring change in the world and raising children's voice. The children of peace we walk in, we do fight for peace. Ensuring change in the world and raising children's voice. We should move freely. From the heart of Journal Peace Uganda, we want to send our gratitude and our great thanks to North Studios. They thank you to Uncle John, thank you Aunt Lisa, they thank you to Aunt Sylvia and our big sister Aviva and to all those behind the scenes. We're so grateful for what you have done to us and one day thank you so much for promoting global peace throughout the entire world. Thank you. So moving to Milwaukee from Kenya was 
a complete like you know different culture, different just pace, different everything. And uh, you know, I was enrolled to MPS. Um, went to Lincoln Center of the Arts for my eighth grade year, and then I think during that summer, like I was really lost. Like I didn't really have a community that I could go to and, and kind of be a part of um, until I started uh, surrounding myself with artists and just the artist community. And that's when I was introduced to True School uh, by my friend Gabrielle, who's doing amazing things right now. Um, so right away, like when she told me about True School, I, I couldn't believe it. Like I couldn't believe such a place existed because that, that was a place that in my head, like I really would call like a, a safe heaven. Uh, so when she told me about it, I, I, I took the bus to True School after school. I uh, met Shalina. I still remember that day. Like I, I walked in. <laughs> uh, I had like this button that I made because I, I started a brand at high school at the time, and I gave it to her. And I was like, I, I can't believe this place exists. And so I enrolled right away and kind of just was the first time that I felt like there was community in Milwaukee for me. And there was a place where I could go and be myself without being judged or without being questioned about my background or like why I talk the way I talk, why I dress the way that, that I dress. So I, I am very like grateful for that, for that community. And that kind of just allowed my Milwaukee experience to be a bit better. So thank you to True School and I'm still constantly going back every now and then because they're family, they're my second family. So you got the camera, so I'm gonna ask you a different kind of question because that means you're looking from a different lens at other people. So we can ask you what it means to you and you can give us that story. But can you tell us what you've seen that means to some of your other true school brothers and sisters where you just say, I know how this affects them. Can you give us some stories like that? Some Definitely. Time? So um, I think I actually, I've been involved with True School longer than these two have um, for like seven years now, I wanna say. I um, mean, through that process, I was a participant, I was an intern, I came on as staff, and now I'm a contracted a DJ instructor at True School. So having that different perspective, having that perspective of um, going through the program, kind of like the same way Brenda explained, once like MPS, there was a lot of, there was like a lack of in MPS. When I got to high school, there was no arts. Um, so True School created opportunities and an outlet, a platform for me to get involved with different mediums. So now that I, I, uh, I see all these new students, you know, I'm part of the recruitment team, so I'm going to these high schools now in MPS, um, going to these different schools, classrooms, uh, lunch tables, and you know, basically looking for the same, uh, the same youth that I was at the time. You know, the person who's who's doing art by themselves at a lunch table, the person who's, you know, seeing everything happen, but just sitting back. Um, and I see, so I see a lot of um, the youth come in looking for a community. That's what the big thing about True School is, is having that community of like-minded uh, young people in Milwaukee coming from, doesn't matter where you're coming from, whether it's east side, west side, south side, north side. Um, you're just only, the only purpose um, is to express yourself and to find, express yourself and to find, yeah, to find a purpose um, for your art though. More than, more than just expressing yourself, it starts off as that. I would see, you know, they come in, they might be a little sheltered, they might not want to get involved with all the classes, but just being in a community with people who have gone through similar things, maybe not the same thing, but you can relate because <clears throat> Milwaukee is so segregated, you know, so people always go through different things on different parts of the city, but when you come to True School, you know, that community, having people, having those true knowledge Wednesdays, we can sit in circles and talk about things that are going on in our neighborhoods, um, is important. The biggest thing is the community and the perspective can change the way that a young person thinks about their own uh, community, their own neighborhood, their own life that they live on, so. I appreciate that, I appreciate that. I want to shift the attention to my Children of Peace from Uganda. And what I want you to do is to tell us what is the your most favorite thing about going there on a daily basis that you look forward to that brings you joy, that brings you that type of happiness that allows you to make each step each day. 
What is it that you love the most about your school? Uh, to me, uh, what I love about my school, uh, they value more of talent. They don't, uh, uh, they don't uh, grade you, or let me say, they don't look at you and take value of you uh, through the academics you have. But they take you for who you are and for who you'll be. Like for me, I play basketball. I was able to join the basketball academy. Uh, they also took me in for the worship academy. Uh, that's basically on music. So they don't value me for the kind of academics I produce in class. They look at who are you and how will you be able to be brought up in the future. Now, like uh, now in school, I uh, do art mostly because it's one of my subjects I'm doing. Uh, art to me is it's passion. To me, I believe art is not a talent, it's a skill. You gain the process. If you have the, uh, like in class, they tell us art is a DIU subject. Art is a do it yourself. Uh, to do it yourself, you need to have the love. You need to have the expression. The feeling should be there for art. And to me, when I do an art piece, I really feel so relieved, I feel happy about what I'm doing. Because you can't tell me you'll do something that you really don't do. Like. So that's what I believe in art. It's a love, it's love, it's peaceful. And this guy brings joy to the heart. So that's what I do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 